Hey guys, I'm Greg. This is Greg's Beer Reviews. Go see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review today. Today's beer is Heavy Seas Mutiny Fleet, The Great Pumpkin. It is an Imperial Pumpkin Ale coming in at 8% ABV. It is a beer brewed with pumpkin and spices. comes from the Clipper City Brewing Company out of Baltimore, Maryland. It is a pumpkin ale coming in at 8%, like I said. Pretty strong. Be careful with this one. Drink it at home. Uh, it is a fall seasonal beer, so it's available now. I don't know how long it's going to be available. If you see it, you better pick it up because it ain't going to be around long. It's almost into the winter season now. So uh, the, uh, the glass for today, we're going to use the pint glass, the tumbler, the mug, the stein, the becker, just about anything is good for this beer. Uh, you can pour it in a snifter or whatever, whatever you like to pour it in. Uh, it's a it's a pretty pretty dessert type beer, so however you like to drink it. Uh, the the beer uh, food pairings is like I said a dessert type beer and the meat they say is poultry so uh, it's not recommended for extended salarings unless the ABV extends exceeds the uh, the normal range which this one does at eight percent being imperial you probably could keep this but and I've done this I uh, I brewed a pumpkin beer last year and I've kept some of it uh, and I tried it this year and and it has mellowed out a little bit because it was a little strong I used fresh nutmeg in it and put just a little bit too much in it so I was trying to get it to mellow out a little bit and it, and it's and it is mellowing out uh, it's a little bit easier to drink this year than it was last year so uh, I was brand new brewing last uh, you know, last year when I was doing that beer so. Uh, Learn from your mistakes, as so they say. But uh, anyway, uh, we're gonna we're gonna get this cap up on this. But if you wanted to, at eight percent, you could probably keep this beer. So uh, if you wanted to sell it, get you a couple bottles and keep one and try it next year. See what it's like. So uh, let's cap off of it. And see what we got. This is a twenty-two ounce bomber. It's a big bottle. So if you're definitely out and you try to drink something this big, you're gonna get in trouble. Drink it at home. Don't drink and drive. Pours a fairly orangey looking pumpkin colored beer. A lot of carbonation in the glass. Bubbles streaming up from the bottom. Uh, almost a full finger of head. A little more than a half finger there. Uh, big bubbles and uh, small bubbles. I poured it fairly aggressive because I like to get at least that much head on the beer. So, uh, looks pretty good in the glass. Right ambery, orangey looking pumpkin color. So, let's get a nose on it. Wow, no hint of 8% alcohol at all. I smell spices. I smell cinnamon for right off the bat. The cloves and the nutmeg. The nutmeg's not as strong as what I brewed though. Looks like they got them out right. Smells great. Let's see what it tastes. Not bad. You do get a little more of the alcohol and the taste, but not much. It's really balanced for an 8% alcohol beer. It's pretty good. It really is pretty good. Wow. A lot of carbonation in that beer, too. For an 8% beer, the head's all died out now. It's just got just a lacing across the top there. It smells great in the glass. Nice beer. It's about 40 degrees. This is coming out of the fridge. 
beer brew with pumpkin and spices. They say they use 2.5 pounds of spice per barrel on this beer. So, quite a bit. Tastes like it too. Malt, hops, pumpkin, and spice with their ingredients. Of course, you got to have the the water and the yeast too, but. Wow, great tasting beer for a pumpkin beer, Imperial Pumpkin Beer. Great tasting. We're going to let it warm up and we're going to sip on it for a little while and try to finish off this bomber. I'll probably be back in about 30 minutes or so as I drink this, maybe even 40 minutes, but as far as you're concerned, I'll be back in a, in a second. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. Got just a little bit left in the glass here. Not too bad for an Imperial Pumpkin Ale. It's not a pumpkin pie in a glass or anything like that, but it's, it's an above average beer. Final chug. A lot of spices. Don't get a whole lot of the pumpkin, just a lot of spices. The spices are balanced though. I'm not getting more cloves, no, no more nutmeg, or no more cinnamon, or allspice. Everything was, everything's pretty balanced. It's a pleasant beer. This is the kind of beer that you, you want to drink one of, especially if it's a bomber. Then more than just a session in it, one after the other after the other. It's, uh, it's not meant for that. It's a dessert type beer. You drink one, two at the most. So, uh, this is a, this is an above average beer. It's not an exceptional beer. It's not. It's not an outstanding beer. It is a uh, on a scale from one to ten. I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna give this a seven and a half. So uh, if you've had it, let me know what you think of it. Uh, if you can get it and you've seen it in your area, give it a try. Let me know what you think of it. And as always, guys, rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you on next beer review. Come on back.